we will create a mesh that is associative to the CAD geometry. Meshes are created and stored in the FEM file, so we will begin by displaying the FEM. For this part, we will create a mesh of three-dimensional solid elements. From the Advanced Simulation Toolbar, select 3D Tetrahedral Mesh. Select the solid body you want to mesh. We will use the C-Tetra 10 element type, which is a Nastran parabolic solid element. Click Automatic Element Size to have the software estimate an appropriate element length for the selected geometry. Notice the calculated element length of 14.2 mm. Mesh collectors are containers that help you manage meshes that share the same material, physical, and display properties. While you can create mesh collectors separately, for now we will let the software automatically create a collector for this mesh. Click OK to create the mesh and the collector. The collector that the software created contains default physical properties that are assigned to the mesh. By default, the mesh inherits the material from the CAD model. However, we want to use the material steel for this mesh. To change the material, right-click the Solid 1 Mesh Collector and select Edit. The material assigned to the mesh is stored in the Physical Property table. Edit the P-Solid 1 Physical Property table by clicking the Edit button. Notice that the material is set to Inherited by default. To assign a different material to the mesh, you can select a new material from the NX Material Library. Click the Choose Material button. The Material List dialog box shows you all available library materials. Select Steel and click OK. Steel is now the material assigned to the mesh. Click OK to complete the changes. Before continuing the analysis, you can check the quality of the elements in your mesh. From the Analysis menu, Choose Finite Element Model Check. Make sure Element Shapes is selected and then click OK. The information window shows you the number of elements that failed the checks. It also shows the quality threshold values that the software used to evaluate the elements. Use the Element Shapes Check to detect elements that may be too distorted to yield good analysis results. The meshing task is now complete. Your next steps could be to add loads and boundary conditions and then solve the model.